All right, you're without. It's a flying air again. Oh, get out! Nothing more annoying than the noise of the fly flying around like a big blue bottle. So look, just go out. Go out the way you come in. So, what is that noise? Just shut the door. How hard can it be to do an intro? Oh, the flag's still in here! Out! Go out! Just go out! Alright, you're with Al. And Biff, actually, but he's not here yet. He'll be here in a couple of minutes. And this is Chronicles of a Not Yet Champion Golfer. So, I'm back playing tournaments now. The PGA have announced a good schedule. Pretty much got a tournament every week. So, me and the Biff today, Wisdom Biff, actually. Wisdom Biff in full flow. We're talking about how to prepare for tournaments in your practice. So, I'm one of the world's worst for getting sucked into technique and spending all my time on that, thinking the club needs to be here, there, 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 everywhere to hit a decent shot. And it's very difficult to trust that on the course and get any real flow and actually see the shots you're trying to play rather than thinking about technique. So we're going to talk about how you can prepare whatever tournaments you've got coming up, club champs, whatever it might be, monthly medals. But for me, the tournaments I've got coming up, practicing to make sure that you're ready to go and perform. So a lot more based on games, putting yourself under pressure, proving to yourself that you can play the shots that you need to play. So when you get in a tournament, you've done it all before. So today we're looking at putting, look at holding out, making sure that you're ready to go into a tournament and hold the putts that you really need to that are going to make the biggest difference to your score. And then we'll head out, hit some pitch shots, some full shots, some little games, making sure that you can hit the targets that you're trying to hit. And we were going to do short game as well, but we didn't have time. It was a biff, had an appointment, selfish. So we're going to come back the following week. The following week, we'll come back and film the short games so covering bunker shots, chipping, hitting your landing zones, that sort of thing. I'll also talk about the result from the event in that one as well. See if it actually works or whether the biff is just talking or to rubbish. Oh, it's a big bee. That's what it is. It's a big bumblebee. I can see him out the window, big bumblebee. This is fairly standard procedure now. That this happens. What's that? You doing the setup? Standard, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's what you've got to offer at the minute. That's all I've got to offer. At the moment, yeah. Trying to pick the sketchiest bit of green as well for you to really wind you Thank up. Thank you. Other challenge. I just asked him for a number of tees, which he's given me. <laughs> yeah, I pick yeah. them up for me, Mum. Yeah, you haven't. Got enough tea and I get for me mum. What is that? It's a step tea you get for me mum. Meant to give her that. I forgot. It's good tea that. Right, Lid. You got three foot, four and a half foot, and six foot. Uh, you got to hold all the three footers. So obviously you got north, south, east, west. East, west. I can't even I'm speak being, like, today. Silent. Yeah, there you go. I like, I like your work. Um, Basically, holding out, we don't do it enough on the golf course. You tend to just drag it off now and again or yeah, whatever. Gimme job or whatever. So uh, I think it's important that we do a little bit of holding out before you get your shot for tomorrow. Yep. And add a little bit of pressure into your practice. So he's got to hold every three footer before you can move back to the four and a half footers. And then we go chipping. Yeah. And if you miss, we've got to start again. It's going to be a long video. I know, yeah. Why we practice? <laughs> Good job, it's the first one. If I'd got right the way round. So once I've done all the three footers, yeah. I can then move on to four, and if I miss a four foot, I just start the four footers yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, because I've just missed that, so. Just shows how important it is, so. Wow. Let's get a shot before tomorrow. Ideally, you would have started doing this a week before. <laughs> He's off the mark. Okay, okay. Oh, just a little line jobby. Six stars as well on my ball. Why you got six stars on your ball? Am I the red? Just six red stars for a laugh. Might annoy some people. But also on my line, can you see that? Is that focused on the line? Yeah, little dot there. Little dot. That's me focus point. So I stare at that. 
granted it's not the best example to be saying this when I've just missed a three footer but I stare at that almost till my eyes water because that becomes my only focus not technique on where the putter is or anything like that literally on that once I've made the decision oh pressure job last three footer it's easy these mate minute now I'm in the flow Nervous? No. Wasn't a good stroke that, but it's in. So. Four and a half foot is next. Four and a half foot. Four and a half foot and feels longer, doesn't it? I'm kidding. If you lie down next to it, it'll probably be the same height as you. So idiot. it's definitely four and a half foot. Idiot. Put that lovely sweeping in. Talk to me, how are you feeling? Uh, you know what? That was quite like whether it's because I missed the three footer first, but I know that breaks, but I proper and that first one was just like a waste of time. Didn't focus on that dot. Actually reminded the camera that the dot's there. So that I focus on it and then no thought and that felt nice. Almost like I've done everything. I've prepared for the putt, I've read it, I've lined it up, just stand over and focus on the dot. And I think that it helps you. You know, so, do you ever stand over a putt and you stand over and you go, right, I'm lined up, lined up, lined up, ready to go. No, nope, gonna break more than that. And you push it, like purposefully. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like literally purposely push it somewhere because you've doubted the line. Once you've made your decision, that dot takes that all out because that's all I'm focused on, not have I made the right choice? Have I done, you know, is my stroke all right? It's literally that dot and I just hit it, react. Goes in 100% of the time, 62% of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> exactly. Beauty, he was under pressure yeah, then as well. I was, I was. He I was went like, full like steel an and then had to hold it. Like a complete knob when you miss. <laughs> Beauty. Last one. Oh, no. You had pulled it, you know, I knew it. Lack of focus again. No. Oh, start again. Start again. That's annoying, isn't it? That's annoying. I've just been hitting myself in the head with the ball as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh. This is what great. This is what's great, though. It makes you have the same emotions you would on a golf course himself in the head of the golf ball well, if you miss four and a half foot for birdie you're gonna have exactly the same reaction that is these the reasons why we're doing this length as well strokes gained proves on tour that between five and eight foot five and eight foot's your biggest gain where you gain or lose the most in it yeah eight foot you're gaining half a shot in the field of your hole if you miss you're losing half a shot it's massive just lost probably more than half a shot also remember on this, even the three footer isn't 100% hole rate, which is why everyone can practice it and get better at it, because everyone in the world can get better at three footers. Beauty. Back on it. Ooh. Ooh, will do. No miss camp. Oh, is it? Kind of adds more pressure. Focus on the dot. Never a doubt. No miss can, mate. Oh, last four and a half footer. What are you doing? Just lining it up, mate. It's easy. It's so easy to get the line, like kind of half arse it and just go, it's about right. I'll just aim a little bit left of that or a little bit right of that. Waste of time. Like you've got to get, if you use the line, commit to it. So it's got to be precise. That is just outside the right. It's got to be precise. Wow, just outside the right. It's got that much break on it. Yeah, it's disgusting, yeah. And then trust it. But if you miss, you kind of accept it a bit. So it helps you mentally. So you don't mentally punch yourself in the face. Because you've made the decision. You've committed to it. And you've gone with it. Not to put pressure on you, but if you do miss, you've got to start again. And this is the last one, yeah? <laughs> Oh, 
much. Some boy, you need a bit of a gust there as well. <laughs> you feel it? You're going to get that on the golf course, though, that's why it's important. Right, six footers, all four six footers in a row. And then we can go. And then we can go. A decent bit of break on this, you know. I've done it before on a video, but people probably not watched it. But if you don't know how much it breaks, so I've picked a line there. If you see it, if you would say it's it dead straight at the hole, so I'm aiming middle of the hole, picture where you think it'd finish. So the amount of break, if it's dead weight, if I'm aiming middle of the hole, I think it'd finish there. So at dead weight, I'm going to aim the same distance to the other side. But I'm not hitting it dead weight, I'm going to aim to really about there. So it's going to be a little bit in. Bosh. Never a doubt that. Bosh. Oh, so fast, man. So fast downwind as well. This is where you start to feel it, though, innit? Got to hold two to complete. It's a good putt. It's had a little bobble halfway through there. Little stone jobby. It's just landed in someone's car to stone, he's just thrown, but... <laughs> it has to break. Don't feel great because we've got an orange tee job as a marker. So I'm going to move that. It's either that or the, um, the lens cap. And that looks a bit daft on it. Ever the professional. So... We're in. Wasp. Focus on the dot. Oh. oh, I've just made my face go red and dizzy there. No nice. tensing too much. Oh, that's it, innit? Yeah, done. Next. Just gonna have a little chat on the way over, but these. Oh. Look at them. Look how it's windy. <laughs> yeah, that's how windy it is. The seagulls are sat down as they'll blow away. They're pretty, aren't they? Like, no, no, no. Oh, stay. Let's see. Oh, we did a poo when it landed. Did a jobby. Seagull did a jobby there. Yeah, that's how windy it is. They've sat down. So, oh, wow. Balls just flew past. Probably not ideal to conditions to do this in, but I am got a choice. Gonna get tomorrow no, well. I haven't got a choice. This is like tournament tomorrow. We can walk. Can we? No, we can't. No, Someone's playing their no, shot. Stop, stop. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, it's, it's actually it's no, it's not. No, it's good. I can't see. It's a good shot. Is it there? Okay. Oh, it is bouncing. So yeah, the putting. By the way, that's much harder in the wind. But yeah, how did that make you feel? Like, did that put you under a little bit of pressure? Yeah, it does. Stuff? It does. It made because you're on camera as well. Yeah. And you're just gonna hammer me if it miss. But to be fair, the six footers, I hold them all. Yeah. So, what's the stats for six foot? Maybe one. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you should you should hold three out of four. Okay, and I hold four and out of four, four, so that four. means I'm better than PGA Tour then. Yeah, so. you are. You yeah. Strokes gained. You've just Get over gained. it. Get over it. You did lose out on the uh, three footer and the four and a half. I missed the first four footer, yeah, but that's fine. At least it's a six foot. But the benefit of knowing you can hole out from there is it takes pressure off every other area of your game. I think it's underrated. It's not just about being good at putting, well, is it? The other side of it is. You know you've hit you know you worked at six foot there so if you put a six foot ring around the hole it actually gives you 12 foot to put it into think you're six foot short and six foot long it gives you 12 foot so it's then like miss. yeah i like so, it so then you, you sort of your, your lag putting it becomes easy your chipping becomes easy because you give yourself a six foot uh 12 foot area if you do miss a green or if you do have a long putt this camera's so heavy you know holding like this but yeah i like that and then and then you can be more aggressive with your chip shots and try and hold it because you're not bothered if it goes five foot past because you know you're proving to yourself while well, I hold 95% of them anyway. So, so you can exactly. be more aggressive. Knock on. Wisdom. Wisdoms. Boom. Wisdoms. Wisdom tooth. Should we go and hit some wedges then? Yeah. Okay. We seem to be walking towards the chipping green at the moment. So. Yeah, people are there. People are. We're going to go wedge it. Wedgies. Wedgies. That over his head. Let's keep hitting it at him. Oh, 
Look at the confidence in him. Why would you be that confident with me there, hitting shots like that over his head? I stopped hitting balls at him because I thought there might be all sorts of legal situations going on if I did pick him out with one, so probably best financially if I stopped because I have got the old worm burner in the locker, so probably needs his ankles. So are you warmed up? I'm warmed up, yeah, he's hitting them over your head. Yeah, I saw that. I th actually thinned the first one and then I thought if it's caught on camera and I hit you, I'm probably going to get sued, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can prove that it was you. Yeah, so I thought I'll stop that now. Perfect, right, little nine ball challenge for you. Oh, nine baller. Nine doesn't baller. need to be hundreds of balls, this is the key. For practicing like this, doesn't need to be hundreds of balls. Not working on technique, so don't need to drill it in. If you weren't here, probably would be. Yeah, which, I'm, which is why I'm here, so you don't. He's not letting me, little, so. Little short, sharp games, focus your mind, see if you can perform. Okay. So I've given you three zones, 100, 125 and 150. Yeah. And then I've given you 5% miss on either side. So you've got five yards to the right and left from 100, just over six yards from 125, and just over seven yards at 150. And you've got keep to hit. it in between the cones. Yeah, so you've got to hit. First ball's got to go in the widest area between the two orange. Next ball's going to go, go into the right section. Next ball's going to go into the left section. Three to each target. Three to the 100, three to the 125, three to the 150. Oh, so three ball, yeah, difficult. So the good thing with this as well, is you can keep a total. Okay, yeah. So even if you have like four now or three, yeah. Like you know that you can always come up, set it up again, and as you Try improve, and beat it. And as you improve, you then gain confidence. Measurable results. And you don't, I was going to do like Trackman stuff today, but actually don't need to do it and anyone can do it. And if I put Trackman on, if it end up good result, I'd be like, oh, what was my path and what was my club face? Oh, why is it like that? Well, it's gone in the zone. Yeah, but it's not on zero, so shite. Lunatic. Okay, 100 yards. 100 yards. So oh, in the mid. So the first one of the big zone you can see. Okay. Big, between the orange. So that's a 10% miss in your first one. I think it's important though not to just aim for the big zone. Well this is this becomes aiming just at a green. So you've got to pull a piece of focus, you know, you've got to get focused on a, on a target. Blue is the target. Yeah. Then. It might be because again, this is like coming down the last, gotta make force a win with a wedge in your hand. Okay. Just hit the green. Oh what a gross thing to say. Where's the wind? You know what? In me warm up then I don't think I missed it, whereas now I'm thinking, Whoa! but it's the whole point. Yep. Wind is into. Off the right. Into, out the right. 110, I've got me 50, well it's 100 yards, but I'm playing it a 110 shot. Just a nice 54 for me, that. We know this, because I've done me wedge yardages with you. Yep. Beauty. There's late coming in that though, wasn't it? Was. One. Okay, so now we go left zone. Or, or right zone, whichever one Whichever you want. one. Yeah. I don't want either. Okay. Which one? Go on. Right zone. Right so zone. wind's out the right, so I'm going to start it on the right cone. I'm just let it move back. Okay. Are you though? Are you though? Are you actually going to do that, or are you just going to bottle it and thin it? Good though. This is all it's not good. good, is it? This is all good. That's focus, so that's concentration. Because you were texting. I'm not. I'm actually got it. Right, I'm writing down your numbers. Oh, right, okay. You see, if there's a pattern, if we miss it left or right consistently, you tit. Okay. I shall eat my hat. Good. So that was right zone miss. Yeah. Right. That was rubbish. That's focus. I need to work. A lot of it's about routine because that's what you're going to do in a tournament. So the focus thing, sorry if this camera's a bit dark here, but the focus, I'm going to try and change the settings, but the focus thing is the same as putting. I've got to get into that focus on the ball, almost like it's not just thinking nothing. You can have a swing thought, but it's all about feel rather than actual, you know, get it here and get it there. Just feels. Look at that. It's brighter, isn't it? Oh, what we on? One, oh no. 100, right left, zone. Left zone. Left zone, left zone, left zone. Can't even remember if left and right here. 
full routine and deviate the shot from tournament play. Wind at your right hand side, 110 swing. Five. Looks it looks so small when you go the small target. It does. But go on. As we go through, we, we might see a little pattern between left and right misses, and then you kind of know which flags you can go at and which flags you can't. Right. One, two, five, green. Right. So we got like one thirty shot. We hit the window. Yeah, it is definitely at the right. You just can't feel through through it. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm up there blowing those poppers. Honestly, that wind. That's going to be at the end. So, is this like designed to boost your confidence for a tournament? Or what? <laughs> it's just meant to get your head in the right space, and it's difficult. So you get there and you see a green, you go, oh, the green's big and massive, absolutely okay. fine. Right, go left zone this time. Okay. That's really poor, that through the motions, nothing, didn't feel how I wanted to play that then. That's that. Yeah. Back in the game. Right zone. Feels really good when you actually get it in as well. Yeah. Right zone, right. Yeah. Try and hold a little cut. Oh, or... I like this. It's getting you thinking. What would you do on the golf course? What would get you a result? I would, yeah, because that wins out. What would you do to get a result? You know what? You can't like move a wedge that much unless you bubba, but. I think if I can just hold it off a bit, okay. more to stop it turning over rather than move it left to right. Okay. So you can almost aim it at the right cone, trying to hold it in on yeah. that line, knowing it's not going to go any further than right to yeah. the wind. Oh, just start with the two zone, stayed in left zone, stayed in the left zone! This is annoying. 150. This is annoying. Yeah, it is. It's horrible. How many have I got? Like two. Two. Good. But it's, it's just making you focus. It's making me get angry. It's not making me get it's just not angry, just 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 like as I'd feel if I missed a green. But but That's good. If your chipping's good and your putting's good, it's not a problem. 150. Green zone. That is a big zone. Let me just say, this is much easier if it's not really gusty. Yeah, if it's not 15, 20 mile an hour straight across you. I'm not giving myself excuses, but this is why golf's yeah. hard in the wind. Right, right zone. Right zone. Change of club. Ooh. 150, holding little cut with an eight iron. <laughs> this bloody bastard. Why? Because it was dog, but you've got it. Oh my god, because it dug down like. It's fine. It's count one, look. The name of the game's hit it in the zone. <laughs> See right. the way I pretended I struck it though. Go on in. Left zone. Just kept it, just stayed there like. Yeah, oh, yeah you struck that. Left zone, this is for 100%. Oh, on this it's one. On the 150. Just so the left. wind, mate, is everywhere. Oh, How's it up the left? No, you've got to just trust. You can't feel it. You've got a row of pines here, and then bushes here. Okay. you just got to trust it's there. It's definitely there. Well, I'm going to hit eight again rather than nine. Okay. Nine's a 150 club. I'm going to hit eight again so it just stays down a little bit and doesn't. Left zone, 150. Well, it was left. We'll give you a zero for that one. 
two, three, five. So over over fifty percent swinging it like that. I think we better go and do some chipping. I've got to be honest. That last swing asked me what I was thinking. What were you thinking? I'm no, honestly, I've literally no idea what I was thinking then. Right. Okay. I've not decide on a shot. Right. So point of contact. I'm not being this. negative here, by the way, but that. No, no, it's fine. That is like. So point of contact now, because it's only nine shots and it's intensive. Have a little look at what ones you missed and try and hit the same shots again. Well, we just nearly killed someone over there. From, from my point of view, I think you're trying to do too much with a golf ball. Okay. I don't think you're making this simple enough. Okay, yeah. So it's tricky, it's windy. But to start moving the ball around when it's this windy, I, I think you can almost just aim it where you want to aim it, let the ball do what it's going to do, and just accept the result. Okay. Because then, because then you still hit solid golf shots. If you got, if you, if you then the wind moves it too much on it, it's just your judgment that's out. Rather than oh, I'm trying to fade it here, yeah, draw yeah. it here, do all that sort of stuff. Makes sense. Try and make it simpler. So 100 yards left zone. So these are the ones you have missed. Right. So left zone. Think about if this bit could it, be a video in itself. I reckon yeah. this. This could be two parts. This video. So if you. If you were to aim it in the middle, so a bit like you putting, there you go, we did putting before, and you said, how much are you going to break if you aim dead straight? How much is that going to move in your mind? Okay. Yeah, dead straight golf shot. Yeah, yeah, you got you. Aim that far further yeah, right. Got you. And just hit a solid golf shot. Yeah, like that. Okay. Come on, come on. Nearly. Not bad though. We're on the right zone. Yeah. Right, so just the Come on. Ah. Okay. Why is your head off? But, but I just don't know, I just feel like I think the wind's all over the shop. It is. So if you're trying to fade it and draw it on a wind, you don't really know what it's doing. Is it you or the wind at that point? Yeah, it's me, and that's why probably why scoring's not as good in the wind as it is when there's no wind. To be fair, so it will probably give myself a bit of a break at times. One, two, five, solid golf shot. Yeah. So right just got to hit the green. So if you hit it on the right cone, yeah, is it going to move it further left and left zone on this wind? I hope not. No. Okay, so just hit it in the right cone. Right. Solid golf shot, right cone. Right. Beauty. Yeah, because you know it's not going to move. That moved a lot, by the way. It's moved a lot, but yeah. it's it's got the job done. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and then you've got to hit it in the right zone for 125. That was the other one you missed. Right zone, 125. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Okay, so... So how much has that last one moved? It Probably like... Two thirds of the full Two distance? Two thirds, yeah, so a third outside the right. We'll give you enough room. Okay. Not swinging it like that, it won't. We get the idea. Oh. All right, 150 left zone. Let's finish off. But you get the feeling. You so get uncommitted the that though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's fine. It is what it is. Oh, but this is why you... I'm hitting that again. He's, he's gone here. Right. Oh, I might. No, I'm not. No, right. The, the, this is why you just test yourself a little bit. You do your work and then you just do a little 10 ball challenge or something because it just gets you to focus. And that's what you're going to do tomorrow in the tournament. You're going to have to focus. So you, you could go in tomorrow not doing any of this work and then having a few weeks off just practicing and then be expecting himself just to turn the light on. You can't do it. You've got to be able to sort of practice in a way that gets you to focus all the time and puts you under that pressure and gives you those same feelings of, as if you are playing a tournament some people like to go and have a mini tournament go and you know play you know, have a, get a card in the hand that sort of thing I feel like if you practice in this way all the time you can turn up at the tournament ready to go what are we on now? I just want you to hit one more shot for me which the last one you missed was 150 left zone okay. halfway between the right Section. Yeah. Yes. Let's finish on a good one. But this is it, though. So. Finish on a good one. 
I, I just feel like that's just a simpler way for you to play yeah. and you can be more accepting of the results. Like I made a couple of swings there where, got to be honest, and this is why it's good for me on camera. I hit a couple of bad shots there and bad swings because the camera was on. Good. Like genuine because the camera was on. I was like, well, but my focus was external then. Like, don't look rubbish on camera. That's like, I don't mean that in a negative way. I wasn't physically thinking that. Well, I, but I aware that, that it's there, do you know what I mean? And you're like. When I play nine holes with you and we got it on, I, I feel it all the time, which is why it's so good. But if you make your practice more difficult and more intense, you get in the tournament and it's easy. Yeah. So based on your shots there, you're going to miss a few greens. So let's go and do some chipping. <laughs> Confidence booster. I'll be. I won't. I, yeah. Since I won't have the camera on me, but that is the goal to have the camera on me, and then that's external. Then it doesn't affect me. Let's go. That's the end of part one of what you might do, what I might do, what you might do during like tournament week preparation rather than focusing on technique and to be fair if that shows anything it's that some days you're not going to be on it like that's the only thing that's guaranteed in golf certainly when you're playing tournaments you're, you play four rounds of golf well one of the rounds maybe two of the rounds you don't hit it very well but if it proves anything you've got to be able to get it around the golf course and if I hit it a bit like that which admittedly wasn't my best form then I'll have to get it around the golf course with the short game and that's where certainly doing the putting that we've done there it's so important because you can always get it I feel like I can always chip it to within six feet well there you go you just you take know, the pressure off yourself straight away so when even when you do play like you just have um, you still don't need to get too stressed about it because as long as you miss it on the right side of the green then you can always get it up and down well in the Harrington video which we haven't mentioned for a bit actually no drop that in but in the Padre Harrington video, he said how he used to miss loads of greens. That's why his short game was so good. Because he had plenty of practice at it. And he knew if he missed a green, more often than not, he's going to get up and down. And when he hit one, he was going to make birdie. And that's what it's about. So we've covered the putting. We've covered the pitching into the full shots. Next week, we'll be covering a bit more on the short game. A bit of the chipping. A bit of landing zone work. A bit of pun punker. Punker, punker play. New, new word. Punker Blay, there you go, swapping around. Punker Blay, see how the Punker Blay is. And again, not that much technique, but bits that might help people, but like just little focus. Stories, little five, ten golf, uh, ten golf ball games that you can do quickly, see where you are, keep a score. Anyone can do that, so no excuse. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. See you, <laughs> see you down the line, see you next Tuesday. You idiot does it every time.